Brewers and welcome to another episode of Mechanics Brewery, where I review the various homebrew matches created by the Lancer fandom. In this field guide to Sulden Special, Worden, from IPS North Star, by Kaitave. John Lorimer Worden was a U.S. Navy officer during the American Civil War. His career wasn't very spectacular, except for the fact that he was commanding the USS Monitor, and ironclad steamships that participated in the first ever battle between ironclad steamships that permanently changed the course of naval warfare. So you might be asking, what is ironclad steamships, it's basically a steam propelled ship with iron armor, which in 1860 was the cutting edge technology and it showed during the Battle of Hampton Roads, where USS Monitor fought against a Confederate vessel, the CSS Virginia. The battle lasted a lengthy four hours, Shots from both sides continued to bounce off their armor and the battle only stopped when Worden himself was temporarily blinded when a shell exploded just outside of the pilot house he was commanding the ship from, forcing Monitor to withdraw from battle and even then an hour later, the Monitor returned to find Virginia has withdrawn as well, ending the battle in a draw. In the aftermath of the battle, more ironclads were built by not just both sides of the Civil War, but also other nations such as England, France, and Russia, after witnessing the capability of the ironclads. The ironclad itself also forced nations to develop new anti-ship technologies to counter it, like bigger and better cannon, which is countered by thicker and better armor, torpedoes, which allowed lightly armored ships to counter ironclad with the power of massive explosion, and strangely, the reintroduction of RAM, which is like the 19's equivalent of a mech anime going guns are useless, so let's use melee weapons to beat the shit out of each other. You think HMS Thunderchild is not grounded in reality, it's more real than you think. Named after the captain, Worden is the direct opposite of the ship Captain Worden has commanded, determining that the best defense is a good offense, and the best offense must be the ultimate defense. Looking at its stats, Worden has decent health, one armor, okay evasion, and average E defense. It's quite slow with its rather large size, has okay heat cap with good repair cap, along with an excellent sensor range but bad tech attack bonus. As for its traits, it has four of them. First, walking fire, for once per round, upon critting with a cannon type weapon, Worden may also deal 1d6 damage of the weapon type to a different target in range 3 and line of sight of the first as a free action. Second, gun shield, after using barrage, ranged and melee attacks against Worden take plus 1 difficulty until the end of its next turn. Third, barrel insulation, Worden ignores the first point of heat generated from overkill tag each turn. And finally, exposed reactor, Worden takes plus one difficulty for engineering checks and saves. With all these traits, Worden is an artillery mech that wants to fire as much as it could and in fact could be better protected in doing so. Just don't set it on fire. As for its weapon mounts, it has three, one flex, one main, and one heavy along with five base system points. As for its core power, Worden can disengage its limiters for fire control override. Upon activation as a protocol, for the rest of the scene, Worden can no longer use skirmish, but when it barrages, it can fire all three weapon mounts, or one super heavy and one other weapon mount. You can still use all other quick action obviously, just not skirmish. For once per round, you may also barrage as a free action for even more firepower, ignoring loading tag on all weapons, but you take one reactor stress immediately after the firing that cannot be prevented by any means possible. This core power, is just gonna fill the room with lads. Worden can put out such a volume of firepower with this core power that almost nothing else could match, and if you are ready for a last stand, your enemies might just fall apart before you do. As for the rest of the license, you get turret mount and warthog GPMG in the first section. Turret mount, more gun for the small one. Turret mount basically, puts a gun emplacement on your mech that cannot be fired by you, instead, it has to be operated by a half-sized non-mech character. Said character can mount or dismount the emplacement with a quick action, and anyone on it gets soft cover. On their turn, they can fire the gun emplacement with full action which has the following stat. Good damage, decent range, and reliable too. This is, pretty good. It basically gives your mech more firepower at almost the cost of nothing, it's just an additional assault rifle and we all know how good an assault rifle is. The problem is obviously, get someone brave enough to man the gun, who will most definitely get shot down if anyone is determined to, a soft cover isn't really that protective after all. But hey, that's one gun that isn't shooting at your mech. 
Warthog General Purpose Machine Gun. Nothing more bullets can solve. Big damage, good range, and overkill. When you shoot this gun, you can target one or two targets that's within range 3 and line of sight of each other. If you attack two targets instead, the damage is cut down to 1d6 kinetic damage. Not very special, but very practical and simple, if you have more targets to cut down, you have more bullets to cut them down. Aside from word and frame itself, you get sticky launcher and mass pack in the second section. Sticky launcher with an unhappy bloody end. Perfect for causing sticky situation. Good damage, decent range, blast one, arcing, but ordnance. Aside from the normal attack, you can fire a sticky projectile that can stick anything, objects, terrain, open space, and people, but you have to roll attack roll like usual against people because they can dodge. On hit, sticky grenade deals no damage and cannot benefit from any mods or systems that increase weapons damage or give other effect on hit. Instead, as a protocol, you can detonate all the sticky grenades you have launched. Everyone within blast one of the grenades must pass an agility save or take 1d6 explosive damage, 2d6 if they get caught in more than one detonations, taking half damage upon passing the save. Any target with a grenade stuck on them automatically fails the save. The target could also get rid of the grenade from themselves or the environment by passing a hull save with a quick action. Whether you want to blast someone to outer space, or you just want to deny an entire area to the enemy, this gun will be very useful. Multi-ammunition smart selection pack, massive guns need massive payload. For once per turn with a quick action, you can use the system to give your cannon or launcher one of the following special ammunition types. This effect lasts until the end of the scene, until you spend another quick action to switch to other ammunition types, or until you change the weapon back to normal with a protocol. Only one of the special ammunition types could be used on a weapon at a time. First, marker rounds, the weapon now deals half damage, heat, and burn, and on hit, the target gets locked on. Second. Concussion rounds, the weapon deals half damage, heat, and burn, but gains knockback too. If it already has knockback, it gets plus one to the value instead. Third, flak rounds, the weapon gains overkill, and any flying target that gets hit by the weapon must pass an agility save or immediately get long darted without taking any fall damage. The target also cannot fly until the end of their next turn. In short, the mass pack gives tons of flexible options for those with cannon and launcher weapons, allowing you to deal with any sort of situation. In the final section, you get Counterfire Suite and MK12 CSSW. Counterfire Suite, Instant Revenge Mode. For once per round, when a hostile character hit your ally within sensor range with an attack, you may spend your Overwatch as a reaction to lock onto them. Until the end of your next turn, your next ranged attack deals plus 1d6 bonus damage on a critical hit against said hostile target. Find your friend getting her pain your heart? Then hurt those that hurt them twice as badly. Mark 12 chassis served support weapon. Wizard! Is a complicated way of saying time to wreck shit. Big damage, long range, overkill but inaccurate and has ordnance tag. As a protocol, you can open up the weapons in build stabilizers, turning it into a fixed emplacement, this immobilizes you but also gives you hard cover, you also cannot be pushed, pulled, knocked prone, knocked back by smaller characters. In this form, you may fire the weapon with the following profile, and your ally could spend a quick action to reload the gun for you. This following profile has even more damage, same range, and has overkill and reliable for, but costs 2 heat to fire and has loading. Whether you hit or miss, if the target is not in hard cover, they must pass an agility save or take 1d6 kinetic damage and become impaired or slowed until the end of their next turn. They may also just drop prone to automatically pass the save. To deactivate the stabilizer, you can do so as a protocol, or have it deactivated automatically when you are forced to move or not prone. In comparison with Drake's Leviathan Heavy Assault Cannon, the Mark 12 CSSW has lower top damage, higher average damage thanks to overkill, far longer range, but you basically cannot move with this weapon for peak performance unlike Leviathan. At the same time, you also shoot so many bullets that hit or miss, the effect will be devastating on your target. There's a trade-off here, but if you are going to be sitting at the same spot for a while, 
the Mark 12 CSSW is going to be extremely devastating on anyone that dare crossing into your line of fire. As a conclusion, Worden is an artillery frame that speaks only one language, bullets, at rapid firing mode. Its license is jammed packed with guns, more guns, and anything that can make its guns even better at doing things guns do best, killing things. Whether that's killing things by tearing them apart one round at a time, or making the designated enemy so afraid of stepping anywhere close to it from the threat of dying, Worden is the perfect frame for those that take brutality of firepower as the finest art form ever achieved by humanity. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.